I built the entire app using AI in under 10 minutes, using just one prompt. Hey everyone, Nova here, welcome. So, I've been seeing creators everywhere building these full apps using AI, and I've been so excited to try it myself. I've gotten a few emails from AI app builder tools, and to be honest, I've been pretty underwhelmed. They were never really what I had in my mind, but this video is my first real experience building a full app with a tool that I actually really like, and I'm hoping you'll like it too. The tool is called Zoer. It's an AI-powered platform that builds a complete full-stack application from a single prompt. Here's what makes it different. While most AI tools just give you code for a web page, Zoer builds the entire app. First, it builds the full stack. You get a real database and a complete user login system with Google and email sign up right out of the box. Second, it builds a beautiful front end. It uses a premium component library, so your app looks professional from day one without you writing a single line of CSS. And third, complex tools are made simple. It comes with Stripe for payments and AI generation already integrated, so there's no complex setup for you to do. All right, let's build. First, I grabbed some quick inspiration from Dribbble. I just typed in AI image generator website to get a feel for what a nice clean site looks like. You can use any site you want for this, really. Okay, I've got a clear idea in my head. Okay, here we are. Down here, you can set the visibility to private. We just get this big prompt box, and I'm going to type in exactly what I want. I'm basically asking for the entire app, an AI image generator, full user authentication, and Stripe payments all connected. And now for integrations. I'm just toggling on what I asked for. So, I'll turn on authentication, which smartly adds the database for me, Stripe payment, and the AI image generation. For the Stripe payment, see, it's already set up to handle your test keys and your live keys separately, which is great. I'll show you how to set that up at the end, so for now, I'm just going to click Cancel on this. And finally, I'm just dragging in those inspiration screenshots from Dribbble. Zoer will analyze these to match the final app's visual style and layout. All right, that's it. Okay, Zoer has analyzed my request. And now it's giving me a preview of the plan. It's showing me the full set of platform features it's going to build, based on what I asked for. And it's giving me the proposed colors, fonts, and general layout, all based on those dribble screenshots I uploaded. Now, if I wasn't happy with this design, I could write a new prompt right here to change it. But for now, this looks good. So I'm going to click Build. Okay, and now Zoer is building the entire application. Right now, it's creating the database schema, designing the user interface, and writing all the code for those templates. Once the code is ready, it builds the final app, launches it to the web, and after just a few minutes, the full application is ready. Our app is ready. This is the live working website. First, let me quickly log in. You can see all the sections look good. We have our dashboard, which shows a summary. Credits remaining, number of generations, credit purchases, all that stuff. In the Generate tab, we have text to image and image to image sections. And under Buy Credits, we have access plans to purchase more. Everything you'd expect. All right. Let's test text to image first. We have a box for our prompt, a negative prompt, and aspect ratio. Okay, I'll hit generate. That's a good result, exactly what we wanted. 
Now, let's head back to the dashboard, you see? The number of generations is now one, and one credit has been used. Perfect. I just noticed the initial credits are ridiculously high, like 99,999. That's not what I want for a real app. So, I'm going back to Zoar, and I'm just going to prompt it to change that. I'll simply say, change the initial credits for new users to 100. And here you can see Zoar is building again to make that change. Okay, see the initial credits are now 100. All right, let me quickly test the image to image feature next. And yep, the character is preserved. That's really good. But hold on, there's a problem here. It only allows me to upload one reference image. For better character consistency, I usually want more. So, let's ask Zoar to change it. And just like that, the interface is updated. It now allows me to upload up to five images. Furthermore, I asked for an option to define exactly how many characters we want to preserve. This is crucial when separating reference images for inspiration versus exact look preservation. Honestly, I really like these changes. This is exactly what I needed. Okay, before we set up payments, let's just take a quick peek at what Zoar actually built under the hood. So, this is the code section. The full code base for our app is right here. Now check this out. Here is the entire database Zoar built for us. This is what saves you all that hassle and extra cost of setting up a separate service. And in this control center tab, you can see all the integrations for the app. We've got our authentication, database, and AI image generation all active. And now, let's set up that Stripe payment. Okay, so this pop-up shows the three keys we need, Publishable Key, Secret Key, and Webhook Secret. For this demo, I'm just going to use Stripe's Test Mode. So, over in my Stripe dashboard, I'll make sure Test Mode is on. In the Developer section, click API Keys. Here's our Publishable Key, and our Secret Key. I'll just copy these and paste them into the Zoar pop-up. All right, next, we need the webhook secret. Back in the Zoar pop-up, I'm going to copy the endpoint URL that Zoar generated for us. Back in Stripe, I'll go to Developers and click Add Endpoint. I'll paste that URL from Zoar right in here. For events, I'll just select all events for this demo. Click Add Endpoint. Now, find the Signing Secret section and click Reveal. Let's copy this key. and paste it right into the webhook secret field in Zoar. Hit save, and we're all set. I'll go to my app's pricing page and click purchase, and it redirects me to the Stripe checkout page. Perfect, I'll use Stripe's official test card. I'll add a future date, any CVC, and click pay. And the test payment is complete. That's a fully functional payment system, set up in just a few minutes. So good. Okay, our app is fully tested. Now, let's go live. I'm just going to click Deploy. And that's it. My project is now alive. It's hosted on a Zoar.ai subdomain, and they've mentioned custom domains are coming soon. And check this out. Zoar also has a built-in app market, so here you can set the price and publish this app to the community. Okay guys, 
that was a quick wrap up on this tool. Check out their other pricing and plans. With their free plan, you can create up to three apps a month, so you can try this whole process for yourself. I've put the link to Zoar in the description below. And that's it. Thanks for hanging out. Love you all, and I'll see you in the next one.